This is going to be the third video where I demonstrate how to change the settings in Scrivener to create a more stylized theme. In this case, we will be working with one of the predefined Scrivener themes called Ocean. Now, I have several documents over here so we can see how all of the changes occur as I make them. I have also found a background photograph that will match the colors of the ocean theme. And I have also added my colors to the custom colors, which I already demonstrated in the second video in this short series. So let's change the default theme to ocean by clicking on File, Options, down here to manage and then up here to ocean. Okay. Apply. Okay. Okay. All right. Now it's saying that I have to close it and reopen it. So let me do that now. Okay. So here it is. And this is uh, the ocean theme. Now, when using a predefined theme, it's important in what order you make the changes. I learned this, unfortunately, the hard way. So the first thing we need to do is change the main editor background and text. So let's pull up the options panel again and go over to appearance, main editor, colors, and we're going to do the editor here. And I'm going to make this my lightest blue. Okay. The text will be black. Okay. Uh, and let's apply this. Okay. So we made that change. Now the next thing we're going to do is add the background picture. So click on fixed with background and the button that says choose texture. And then I'm going to come down here and add the picture that I've chosen and apply. And as you can see, the background picture is now there. The next change we're going to make is to the binder area. Now the binder area already has the color that we'll be using inside the predetermined theme. So I'm just going to change one or two settings. So again, pull up the options panel and we're going to go to binder over here where it says colors. And let's see. So I'm going to change the search results background to the dark blue color. And in this one in particular, I'm going to click on the fonts and change this to Times New Roman, bold, and down to 16. Apply. Because I like these in a bigger font and bolded so that I can see them more easily. Okay, so we made that change. Now the next change we're going to make is change the background of the notes. Now the notes is controlled by the inspector and notes, so we'll do notes background. Why is this not opening here? Okay, I think I just had to click it harder. <laughs> okay, so we're going to make this one the medium blue. Okay. And then the bookmarks preview background. I guess we'll make this the medium blue. And the comments the same thing, medium blue. And click apply. And there you see that changes. So the next change we're going to make is the synopsis box. So the synopsis is controlled by the index cards. So we'll go over to the colors. The background is... Uh, the background is going to be the light blue. The border is going to be the dark blue. Divider, dark blue. And the lines, dark blue. And apply. And as you can see, this changed over here too. 
So the next one we're going to do is the cork board. So I'm going to click on the cork board. The actual cards are controlled by the index cards, which we just did when we changed the synopsis. This already has our background color, so we're going to leave that. So those changes are already made. And then we're going to go now to the outline view. So in the outline view, let's pull up the options panel. Move this guy over here. And this one, outliner. Okay. So I'm going to click on this box here where it says outliner has vertical grid lines. And this one too, outliner uses alternating row colors. And I'll leave the fonts for right now. And then by the color, I'm going to make these the light blue for the background. The folder titles are going to be in black. The grid lines are going to be in the dark blue. And the group titles will put in black, I believe. And the synopsis. We'll put that in black too. Apply. And as you can see, that's been changed also. So these are the changes. And as you can see, it breaks it up a little bit. It's just not that big expanse of the same color. Now, uh, let's see here. In order to save this, you would click on File, Save as Template. You would uh, name it whatever you want. I keep mine in my blank category. You can choose whichever category you want. Here's the list. And then uh, you can put a icon. I use the manuscript one. And then save styles into template. I click that one too. Okay. So I've already saved this. So I'm going to click out of this. Now, the one thing I didn't mention was when you are in the options panel, the last thing that you're going to do is on the appearance page, you're going to go down and go into every single one of these menu items. And along with your fonts, you're going to change the fonts wherever uh, it has a fonts panel and you enter the ones that you want. This is the default, and I usually change mine to Times New Roman, and the size is 14. I like mine a little bit bigger, probably, than most people. And the same thing. Each of these that has a fonts panel, you're going to go in and change to the font that you want. And so after that, you can save it. Of course, you have to apply it and then say OK. So this is the last of the three videos that I made on how to change a theme and make a custom theme in a Scrivener. So if you learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.